What's up everybody, Fellow Winitachi here, you know what it is, and thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of Pokemon Go, the Poker, Pokey Vlogger series, the Poker Vlogger, we ain't playing poker, no Texas Homer Day, son, the Pokey Vlogger series under the YouTube channel of youtube.com slash Fellow Winitachi. Now, I want to go ahead and give you guys some updates on what's been going on, and I haven't decided to give you guys updates in a while, so I wanted to bring that back into this episode. This is now episode 5, I believe, and it has been a while since we have gone out into the freaking wild. Like, we've been pretty much in Pallet Town doing nothing for the last two episodes, and now we're finally back out and running, and I'll show you guys where we are in just a little bit. But basically... Happy birthday to Pokemon Go. So it's the first year, first anniversary of Pokemon Go, and a lot has happened. A lot of great things and a lot of kind of shit things if you have been sticking around with the game. So, basically, they're hard to believe. I'm not going to go through this. If you want to read this, go ahead and pause the video or go ahead and check it out on the website at Niantic. Um, basically, all it states is it's the first anniversary. The uh, What I talked to you guys in a couple of episodes ago with the raid battles and all that cool stuff, revamp, revamp gameplay and all that has been released. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, make sure you go ahead and watch the rest of our series. Um, again, this is Generation 2, so this is now Season 2. Um, but from July 26, which is when this was released, so that was like two weeks, a good two to three weeks ago probably when this was released. I mean, this video goes up on YouTube. All the way until July 24th, which is tomorrow, Pikachu discovered in the wild will be wearing an Ash's Famous hat. Now, they've done that before with the Christmas. They've done that before with, like, a birthday hat. I don't know what the birthday hat was for, but um, they've done events like that. So, uh, basically, you can go ahead and find um, special Pikachu for the first anniversary. And I have yet to capture one. I'll go ahead and check. Um, Pokemon Go events around the world. I'm going to be showing you that in a different one because there's really not much information on that. Pokemon Go updated to version 0.69 and 1.39. Um, that was just basically some small updates. Not really too much there. But here is where it gets freaking dicey from. So a legendary first year of Pokemon Go. Now they're basically saying a legendary first year and that is... Um, basically the legendary Pokemon. They're finally into the game. They're finally releasing them. I don't understand why they're doing... I understand why they're doing Lugia and Ho-Oh and all that uh, because we are now in Generation 2, but we didn't really get Generation 1 uh, legendary. So, as part of an ongoing celebration, Pokemon Go's first year anniversary, uh, excited to release Pokemon, legendary Pokemon, are now going to be basically released. Again, if you want to go ahead and... I'm just going to go skim through this. If you want to go ahead and read it, please go ahead and pause the video or check it out on Neantic.com. Um, basically, they're stating on July 22nd, thousands of trainers in Grant Park for Pokemon Go Fest. And I'm basically going to say what's been going on. So, uh, Chicago Pokemon Go Fest, uh, Grant Park. Um, basically, it was July 22nd, which was yesterday. And they did a live stream event on both Twitch and YouTube. And it didn't didn't work. Um, just like the rest of this game, stuff just doesn't work. And I don't, I don't, I'm not here to bash Niantic for anything. Um, the game is absolutely amazing. I'm a huge fan of Pokemon. I've been playing since day one of Pokemon. Back in 1997 when Red and Blue came out. Back when the first TCG set came out. Back when the very first episode came out. I've been there. So I'm a huge fan of Pokemon. So Niantic decided to take it upon themselves to make an absolutely amazing game, which they have. Sadly, there's just always server issues. There's always lag issues. There just really isn't that much going on in the game besides capturing Pokemon. Now there's some revamped updates, which were hopefully we get to do today but um basically what happened yesterday um no one could play at grant park uh they were granted legendaries they were supposed to be given legendaries after they do some battle stuff everybody around the world had to capture a certain amount of pokemon and that's what basically stated which legendary pokemon was going to get released no matter what lugia was going to be released at this event um ho oh no updates on that and then everybody around the world um depending on whether you're team valor mythic or mystic Whoever caught, whichever group caught the most, it was tallied up into results, and basically, you were going to be, um, that Pokemon was going to be released. So, if Valor won, which we didn't, Moltres would have been released. If, um, uh, there's Valor, Mystic, and Mythic. If Mythic, there we go, I couldn't think of them. If Mythic won, Zapdos would have been released, but Mystic ended up taking a victory, and Articuno is now released. So, now we're out, we're able to get Lugia and Articuno in the wild. Not necessarily the wild, but they're raid battles. So you have to find an egg, a specific egg. I'm not sure if we have to defeat it yet or we get to capture it. But I will go ahead and hopefully do that today, maybe. 
Um, but as a result of all the hard work during Pokemon Go Fest, incredible in-game bonuses were unlocked. The entire Pokemon Go community also thanks to the trainers. So these rewards end on July 24th as well. Double Stardust, Candy, XP, increased Pokemon encounters, reduced hatching distance, and reduced buddy distance. And basically everybody that attended the event gets a free Lugia because of how shit the event was. They also get a refund. Um, sadly, for those that played for, paid for plane tickets, did not get a refund, but they kind of had, uh, this is basically what this is talking about. They're apologizing for the really, really bad event, and blah, blah, blah. Good for them. I'm, I'm kind of happy they gave everybody free Lugias. Um, however, for those of us that played the game, we, we kind of got nothing. And we had to do a lot of the capturing and doing stuff to unlock some Pokemon, but I don't care. Lugia and Articuno are now available in the game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get out of this boiling hot freaking car farm. All right, everybody. So before I can explain on where exactly we are, uh, we got a ton of Pokemon already in the freaking nearby spam. We're already at a Pokestop. I'm gonna go ahead and get this Pikachu ASAP because I just found out I don't have it. So I was correct. I don't have this Pikachu. We're gonna go ahead and get it. 485 it's got the ash hat on so that is very cool it's a limited edition pikachu i'm pretty sure i mean they, they probably will release it again in the near future and i already got it right off the bat so that is good that's another limited edition pikachu added to the game so let's go ahead and get that going and then i'm going to go ahead and get this pokestop in and capture these pokemon and while that is going on oh my gosh this game is so freaking freezing man it's so laggy Wait, walk closer. How am I? I'm right. I'm, I'm right there, fam. Now you guys can't see me because I got the sun gleaming right behind me. But basically, I'm not at the OG park, which was Central Park. That's the OG park. That's the one with like the 50 million Pokestops. I decided to come to this park this week, and then I'm probably going to go to Central Park next week. Um, but I'm going to be going to two parks today. One's very small, which is going to be the second park we're going to be going to. But this one is kind of bigger. Alright, I don't know what's going on with this Pokestop, boys. Hopefully we get... I'm, I'm basically standing right on top of it. There we go. There, That's what I'm talking about. Get to see all that good stuff coming into the bag. Alright, let's go ahead and point ourselves this way. So we got a Cubone, Cyndaquil, and Venonat into the nearby. So basically, as always, since we already have them, I'm just going to go ahead and roll a little montage clip of me capturing these bad boys. All right, now we got an Ekans instead of a Venonat. Venonat's still there, but I gotta walk closer, I guess. So, as always, I capture everything that I see. We're gonna go ahead and capture these four Pokemon, roll a montage clip, and I'm gonna try something a little bit different, more of like a scenery view type thing in the background as well. So, let's go ahead and get to it.
Alright everybody, so we're back. We made it to the next Pokestop down the lane and I have finally gotten gyms in my radar and they are showcasing some raids that are local and nearby. Sadly, they're not legendaries. They are simply... Okay, this game is so slow. Alright, so they're simply the closest one to us is a Weezing and the far one, which is at the other park that we were going to go to. I've decided not to go there anymore because I am getting a lot done here at this park. Um, the one at that far park is a Vaporeon. There's really not much for me to do there. But we're going to go ahead and check out the nearest gym, which is the one with the Weezing. Go ahead and check out how a raid uh, feels like. Go ahead and do a raid ourselves into this video. And then we might do some gym battles as well. Um, yeah, the farther one is the Valor one, and the closer one is Mystic. So we'll be able to try to take over the Mystic gym battle. Uh, depending on what level it is, we'll go ahead and check it out. Um, but I'm pretty sure... Um, Oh, first of all, the park with the Vaporeon, that's probably where I'm going to go next week. And then the week after that, I'll go to the one at Central Park, which is the big park. And I'm pretty sure that's where we're going to find the Legendaries, because that is a big park. That's a park with four gyms just within the park itself. And they have over 15 Pokestops within that park as well. So I'm pretty sure that's where it's going to be, um, where we go ahead and hit that up. Now, I'm not too sure if we have a Sentret yet. I'm pretty sure we do. Um, but just in case we don't, I'm going to go ahead and record it anyway, because this is the first Pokemon that I'm going to start getting at this uh, given location. It's a 178, and I'm actually thinking, now that I look at it, it's an excellent throw. Y'all know what's up. Um, I'm looking at it now, and I don't think I have a Sentry. So I'm glad I've recorded this. Gotcha. We'll go ahead and check that out right now, because I don't recognize seeing a Sentry new Pokemon caught. Hell, sort of freaking yes, fam. Now, what's great about this event, that it does sadly end tomorrow, we're getting double everything. XP, Stardust, uh, Candies, everything. So, we're able to probably evolve some Pokemon later on. Alright, so exact same Pokestop. I mean, I just got the ride on, and Sentry's evolved form for it appears. So, hopefully, the game is just really laggy. That's the other reason why I'm not going to the other park today, is because it's taking me such a lot of effort just to capture Pokemon right now. So we're going to go ahead and hit the fur up with the berry. Hopefully that does. See, see, look how slow this game is. And you have to time it to where your Pokeball isn't lagging so bad. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and use my... Oh my gosh. Really? Really, bro? Really? Come on. Yes, okay. I got. I at least got it in the Pokeball. Now the chances of me capturing it with that throw are really, really slim. So now I'm going to have to use another one. You know what? Let's just go ahead and throw a Pineapple Berry at this thing. And I know I'm not looking at you guys. However, this fur is absolutely important. Look at that, look at that. That's a nice throw. That's when you know you're doing bits. So, basically, we got luck. Sentrit, brand new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. I was about to say fur added as well. Now we got a great throw. A great throw with a Pokeball. So, I mean, can we just please give me the Pokemon? Yes! Upgrades, upgrades, new Pokemon caught. Y'all know what's up. Look at that XP bonus, though. That XP bonus is so lit, it's litty. So, we're about to head on over, and you know what, guys? I'm going to go ahead and not capture these um, Nidoran and... I was about to say Nidorans. The Nidoran and the Ratatats, because... It just takes so long, fam. It's so laggy. So, I'm going to go ahead and head up on that raid and catch you guys there before... My phone decides to freaking heat up because it is over 105 degrees right now, fam. Alright, everybody. So, we are finally here. We finally made it. We are on top of the gym itself with the raid which is going to be wheezing for us today um, as you guys can see we got a nice view right behind me and i also got this nice little pondy whatever this fountain thingy is behind me as well so you guys get some pretty decent views now let's go ahead and click on the gym and it's probably going to take a good five minutes for it to load just like everything else in this game it takes forever for it to load however like, look at, look, at, look at the gym just spinning around, fam. So, first of all, there's so many wild Pokemon today because of the event that goes on until tomorrow. And, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm trying to talk and waste some time. But, I mean, I don't even know if this gym's going to even load, fam. Team CP Weezing. Now, what am I going to do with that? Let's go ahead and uh, spin around the fish fountain. It, that's what the gym's called. It's the fish fountain. Now... Oh, it is a fish fountain. I'm so stupid. Gym badge earned. Defend team gyms and attack rival once to upgrade your gym. So, you receive a free raid pass. Yay! So, I get some items. I got my first gym badge. Guess what? Did nothing. Means nothing. And now... What, 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 what's going on? Okay, there we go. So, how do I fight this dude? 
or click on them. Put a click on it. I'm going to use my raid pass. Suggested group size nine. Oh fuck me. It's one of those. It's one of those where because no one plays Pokemon Go anymore, bro. Like you see all the comments of people playing, but no one's really playing. Alright, so select my Pokemon group code, triple Bulbasaur. Alright, uh, select the Pokemon that I want. Alright, cool. No one plays this game anymore, that's the thing. That's the thing, guys. No one plays this game anymore. So now I'm kind of stuck. 1v. I mean, I can't even do a regular gym. I'm kind of stuck doing this now. Alright, so we're gonna pull a lot right on. Right on pretty lit. Right on pretty lit. We're gonna take a nice little nap here. Uh, reason, reasons I'm even weak to get. So what kind of team is this? But first of all, I'm finding players. Oh no. Let me sort out my team. Oh no. It didn't even let me do my team, bro. That's how laggy this is. Alright. Kill it. Kill it. Oh, it's still so, got the go, man. It's still got the go. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and sit down again. Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go, fam. Alright. We got, like, no chance though. But that's why I chose Rhydon's, because it's super effective against this guy. But still. You know how bad this Rhydon is? I'm not going to be able to defeat this thing, am I? There's no chance. There we go. I mean, Rhydon is doing bit. Right on 2,664 CP while this thing's got 12,000. So it's got an extra 10k CP on me. I do like what they've done to uh, gym battles though. Like the, just the screen itself is nice and smooth. It's really cool. I mean, this is going to take quite some time. And I got, oh, I got actually a time limit to do this. That's why they suggested that amount of players. Alright, but well, this isn't good, boys. And what I don't like, though, is the fact that I did not get to set up my team. So I'm kind of stuck with a Chansey that has like 800 CP. Two of my Pokemon are okay, which is both Rhydon's, maybe the Snorlax. But other than that, I'm kind of stuck. I'm kind of stuck, boys, with whatever was given. Oh my gosh, there's like bugs or something around me. All right, that's one. All right, we got my boy Snorlax, my boy Snorlax. Oh, he's, oh, this is my quick Snorlax. This is the quick facts. I call this boy Quick Facts. He's just gonna body slam spam over here. My boy Snorlax, dude, he jumps around. This is a quick, this guy's got like, I don't even know, he's got cheat codes, this Snorlax. Look how, how quick he is. For how big and how much this thing weighs, he moves so fast, it's not even funny. Can I do this? I mean, I feel like I can do this. We're, almost, we're at like 60% of his health. If I had a full team, I probably could have done this. Now I'm gonna lose my um, my raid pass because I mean, I, you know what? Let's think positive. We're almost at 50%. It, 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 the gym battles are a lot smoother. I gotta admit, compared to like three months ago, it's just so much easier. But these raid battles, man, they're gonna take quite some. No. Right on again, my boy. This is right on number two, though. This right on's not that good compared to the other one. CP's lower as well as his uh, his stats are lower as well on this one. The IV of my first right on is absolutely baller. Wait, what happened? All oh, the time limit. You didn't defeat the raid boss. Please try again. I I had it, boys. That's why they suggest it, though. That's why they suggest you have more than, um... I could buy some raid passes, but at least we got to see the deal of it, see what's going on. I could have sold that Weezing right there, though. And it said it suggested nine players? I don't think so. Maybe two. Two decently good average players about this game. But I guess if you are a low level, um... Nine players would probably be a good, a good setup for that. I'm trying to get into the gym. I want to see what's going on. I want to see what's cooking. I want to see what's cooking. So we've got a lot covered today. we got some new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. I'm going to go ahead and evolve some Pokemon uh, a little bit later. 
And then um, we'll go ahead and bring you guys back for that. So we did get a our first gym badge, which is at this uh, fish fountain, fish lake, fish fountain. I don't even know what this place is called anymore. I call it the fish fountain because there's fishes and there's a fountain behind me. And then if you turn it over here, there's a lake over there, fam. But um, at the fish fountain, we got our first gym badge, which you don't really have to do anything. You just have to go to the gym and say, what's up? So it sucks that we didn't get to kill this guy. Let's go ahead and click on the thing. Can we spin it again? Those ducks, man. They're probably laughing at me over there. Do we get to spin it multiple times, or is it like a one-a-day thing? What's going on? Oh my gosh, you get to spin it multiple times. Hell yes. And then... Network error, of course. Probably take 12 years. Okay, here we go. So you can't do any gym battles while there's a raid going on. That kind of sucks. Because there's not one gym close to me that I can do a... That doesn't have a raid going on. So I'm going to click on the wheezing, see if I can do it again. But I highly doubt it because you need a raid pass. And I kind of don't want to do it again. I just want to see. If you guys get my grips. Alright, come on. Network error again. Of course, of course. Of course, Pokemon Go. Nancy, why don't you fix your game, bro? Why don't they fix this game? I don't understand. This game could be so lit if they do some updates and every now and then and just get this game to work. And they should have um, these raid bosses, like, uh, what do they call it? Like, uh... Weigh, weigh them out like if there's not nine people nearby which of course there never is going to be nine people here I'm probably the only person that's been here probably for like the last three months to this poke stop or this gym and for that matter and not it's pretty much like that everywhere tell trust me it's pretty much like that everywhere unless you're in a major city New York Los Angeles which I am I can go to Santa Monica Pier and go ahead and own it up there you'll probably find some other Pokemon pokey goers over there but there's not that many people play this game. There's so many comments on those Twitter and Facebook feeds, but I mean, out of the millions of people in this world, that is not enough. Now, we can't go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna go ahead and walk on back, gather those Pokestops, capture some more Pokemon on the way, and I'll bring you guys back because we're about to evolve some Pokemon tech. All right, so we're gonna end off the episode here. Yes, I am gonna go grab that Pokestop. It is on the way to the car. Um, but we're going to end off the episode here. Today we basically got a couple new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. So we're about to evolve some Pokemon. Uh, nothing too needy. Uh, we don't really need to evolve these Pokemon. I'm just going to evolve them just because. So let's go ahead and change it to number. And there's two Pokemon that I'm going to evolve. One, they're both, um, one's decent for CP. And it is a Nidorino. And he's okay. Uh, the CP's not too bad. But um, it is a pretty high CP Nidorino, so we're going to go ahead and add that to the squad. Where is he at? There he is. Day 45 Nidorino. Um, might be better than the one that I currently have, but I don't think so. So we're going to go ahead and evolve this one. And um, we, have, we get tons of Nidorinos anyway, so we're going to go ahead and evolve this one. So evolve this Nidorino. 100. Oh my gosh. Wait. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and evolve an Eevee. Now the reason why I evolve an Eevee is because... I don't know what it's going to evolve into, but it's a pretty high CP EV, and it's probably going to outwit one of my uh, evolutions, if it's one of the lower ones, of course. <clears throat> so what do you reckon? Higher than 1760? Oh, hell no. Nowhere near boss. Nowhere near boss. But it's pretty good. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and level up that EV. And I did get a lot of candies today for some extra Pokemon. Um, I didn't show you guys all the Pokemon that I captured because some of the foot, it just took way too long. So we're going to go ahead and grab this Eevee really quick and evolve it. Uh, what do you guys think? Post in the comment section down below what you think before you watch it, of course. What you think this Eevee is going to evolve into. Um, Gen 1 or Gen 2, whether it's Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon, or Umbreon and Espeon. One of those five is what this bad boy can evolve into. And um, I've already used the cheat codes. I've got all of the, um, not cheat codes, but you guys know what I mean. You can name your Eevee into something and you're given uh, that specific one. Hopefully we get Vaporeon because Vaporeon, as you guys saw, is very low. So without further ado, this is going to be our second and last evolution. But basically today we got some new Pokemon added to the Pokedex. Uh, we evolved some Pokemon. Uh, we got our first gym badge. I uh, was able to go ahead and test out the raid battles and see what that's about. And I guess you can't do gym battles while there's a raid going on at the gym. So I will go ahead and um, now that I know I'm better prepared for next week's episode, 
Uh, this is basically a trial and error thing with the gym. So we got Jolteon. Jolteon, boys. Let's go ahead and check out the CP on this bad boy. And it is 1811. Oh my gosh, fam. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, the other one's 2112. Well, this Jolteon can get the hell out of here. I don't want this Jolteon. See ya. I'm going to go ahead and transfer it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and continue and leave it off from there. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Got any questions, hit us up in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check out the description box. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get some new Pokemon next week. Hopefully we encounter the legendaries into the gym battles. And peace.